Which, honey, aren't you forgetting something? Oh, no, I never wear underwear. <laughs> I'm free, single, and 80. <laughs> I was moving. I was going to give each one of you a gift. But I want you to have them anyway. Why, Sophia, how sweet. Oh, honey, you shouldn't have. Yeah. Oh, Ma, this is so lovely and so familiar. <laughs> this is mine. I thought the cleaner lost it. I told you the cleaner lost it. I took it. I needed something to go with my black sweater. This is my black sweater. I know. It goes great with my pearls. <laughs> well, enjoy and be healthy. <laughs> I wonder if she's seen my umbrella with the duck handle. You know, I haven't been able to find my ankle bracelet. Come on, I think it's time to search her room again. <laughs> Actually, that first night, I was kind of, well, appalled, I guess. But Charlie was very patient. Uh, it was really very nice, once I understood that that's what you were supposed to do. <laughs> it wasn't some colossal joke, you know. <laughs> you have done some good work, Dorothy. But not enough people like you. <laughs> Sorry. Blanche, does he have a friend for Dorothy? Oh. We know this is last minute, oh. so we'll take short, bald, fat. I'm sorry, Sophia, but I've already pawned Rose off on his fat friend. <laughs> Anyhow, my first was Billy. Oh, I remember it so well, just like it was yesterday. That night under the dogwood trees, the air thick with perfume, and me with Billy. Or Bobby. <laughs> yeah, Bobby. Yeah, it was Bobby. <laughs> Or was it Ben? <laughs> oh, who knows? Anyway, it started with a B. <laughs> Dorothy, could I please borrow your diamond ring and your pearl necklace and your J bracelet? Are you planning to come back? <laughs> it's a gift certificate for a complete makeover at Elizabeth Arden's. Maybe now you can get a date. <laughs> you look gorgeous. Oh, well, really? Yeah. Goodness, I didn't even have time to put on my makeup. <laughs> Would you mind waiting out in the van, Dirk? I'll be with you in just a minute. Sure. <laughs> I do believe the man said gorgeous. I'm going to live forever. I'm not outside of an institution. <laughs> oh, Dorothy, can I make a little suggestion when you go for your makeover? Sure. What is it? Don't expect a miracle. <laughs> You can go straight to H-E double hockey sticks. Double hockey sticks. You almost finished? Yeah, but I don't want to come out. It's the only peace and quiet I've had in two days. Blanche thinks she's Peter Pan and Rose is turning into Mommy Dearest. That's nothing. You think you're Josephine the Plumber. Well, Ma, I saved us at least $50. Good between that and what I lost at the track, you're even. Ma, you know, you don't look good. I'm short and I'm old. What did you expect? Princess Di? <laughs> Who's gonna keep after us and make us linguine and, and tell us stories about Sicily? I don't know, Rose. Maybe Mary Poppins has an Italian cousin. I decided to overlook that minor detail and succumb to the Vesuvius of passion that is about to erupt from me. Stand back, we're gonna get something on us. I've only felt this once before. <laughs> it was during my 17th summer, and I was working behind the cosmetics counter at the Rexall drugstore. I was stocking the Maybelline display when I, I heard this booming voice say, excuse me, ma'am, where are the cuticle scissors? <laughs> I turned around, and there he was, our eyes locked, and. For one brief moment, there was nobody else on Earth but the two of us. Please, Blanche, Sidney Sheldon tells shorter stories. <laughs> I know in my heart, if I'd just followed my feelings that day at the Rexall drugstore, today I would be Mrs. Andy Griffith. <laughs> I tell you what, I'm not going to make the same mistake with Dirk that I made with Andy. Mm. Didn't she tell us that story before? 
Yes, but the last time it was Woolworth's a toenail clipper and John Cameron Swayze. <laughs> on top of me, I open my eyes, I see paws like that, I think I'm on the moon. I love all my children. Even Phil? Sure. But don't tell him I want to borrow money. <laughs> Where's on Saturday night? We'd grab our dog Binky and we'd pile into the... <laughs> Dartha, where's my heating pad? How should I know? But this isn't it. I'd like to know what other electrical appliance you're using under that blanket. I've had a bubble. In your head. I'd like to cash in. Now, let's see. These are worth a dollar a piece. I have 20 to 30 pretzel sticks here. <laughs> you got pretzel dust. <laughs> Come on, Ma, don't be a sore loser. Now, you owe her $30. You're absolutely right, Dorothy. I stand corrected. Pay her. <laughs> you got a part in Macbeth, but I'm afraid it isn't the part you were hoping for. What part did I get? Which number three? <laughs> Picked you over me. Uh, listen, I hate having to tell you. Hold on, this. Dorothy. <laughs> this is a joke, isn't it? He didn't really pick you over me. Oh, uh, Blanche, I didn't even want the part, but Jason said I have presents. Uh, listen, I really have to go to work. He actually so picked you over me. I do not believe this. I have been had. I know. <laughs> and you still didn't get the part. <laughs> Of course, they just worship me because I'm blonde and feminine and young with a great body. What mirror do you use? <laughs> My cat was named Lindstrom. I used to make it for him on his birthday and other holidays. Wait a minute. Your last name was Lindstrom. You named your cat Lindstrom Lindstrom? Yes, it was less confusing for him. That's good. Give me one of those. Hide this stuff. Where shall I hide it? In your brassiere, Rose. <laughs> You're Scandinavian. What do you know? A thousand ways to make herring? <laughs> well, not a thousand, but a lot. And I'm famous for my Lindstrom surprise. What in the world is that? Herring pie. <laughs> this surprise is you think it's pie, like an apple, you know, but when you bite into it, it's herring. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what fun.